wrong, but I'm in love with Stacy's mom. Anyway. My attractive hostess is sitting submerged in the bathtub. Uh, then you can't see all of her, stupid. Yeah. The water is clear and it pools around Kyoko's arms, her knees, and her chest. Her skin is tinged pale pink from the heat of the bathwater, and drops of moisture beat. Wait, and drops of moisture beat on her forehead, her cheeks, and the tip of her nose. If this bro says pale pink one more goddamn time, I know. I'm have a holy shit. Kyoko's long, dark hair is lank and wet, like. and it sticks to her exposed flesh like a second skin. Ew, no that's <laughs> fucking not hot! <laughs> but no matter how long her hair is, it can't conceal her exposed oh, flesh. flesh. It's like, that sounds like fucking, like, she has a wound. Yeah, it does. Like, somebody just, like, fucking slashed her open. I can see everything in minute detail. The gentle slope of her stomach, slightly Dude. distorted beneath the water. The smooth, supple bulge of her thighs. Oh my fucking god. Her chest. <laughs> <laughs> wow, they look even bigger when she's up wearing a shirt. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's the first thought that runs through my head. B but it's not like I can say that out loud. I don't want Kyoko to think I'm a pervert. He's thinking all of this in real time, by the way. <laughs> I know, he just... <laughs> so, um, are you gonna, like, leave? <laughs> I'm not a pervert, so why? Love why am I standing something. here? <laughs> why am I standing here staring? They confirmed it's canon. Yeah. I, uh, I, I, yeah, I, I... Kiko blinks at me, unmoving. She's still startled. Who wouldn't be? <laughs> I can see her trembling beneath the translucent water. Eventually, after a pause so sizable you can drive a <laughs> bus through it, she finally utters my name. Oh, that was weird. Uh, Miski? K Kyoko. My throat is painfully dry, as though I've swallowed <laughs> the whole Sahara Desert. Jesus, dude. Sweat begins to beat on my forehead. My shirt sticks to my skin. My pants get tight. <laughs> It really <laughs> is steamy in here! <laughs> Kyoko was <laughs> most like her bath extra hot because the walls and mirrors are all fogged up with condensation. I, um... I, I, di I didn't expect to see you so soon. Uh, I didn't expect to see you either. It was it was Tama! Oh, of course. It would be, ta it, it would be Tama, did you say? Is that her name? Okay. <laughs> that girl really is a handful. Y you're telling me? So what do you think? Are my boobs like bigger outside the shirt or in the shirt? You know Just... I was actually thinking they were bigger outside. Okay, cool. All right. That yeah. settles a bet. Cool. I, I don't a have bed? any friends, so it was just me, oh. but I get to win my own money, which okay. I don't have a lot of. I sneak a not so strip surreptitious glance at Kyoko's chest, which is only partially submerged in the steamy water. A handful, huh? Oh, come on. That's one way of putting it. That's not what she was talking about. Um... Uh, w would you mind terribly if I asked you to get the fuck out? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I would take it personal. Okay, good. It is a personal thing. I normally wouldn't be so rude, only I'm naked here and trying to bathe. Oh, so I can see please that. leave. Uh, a bath! Right, I can see that. <laughs> Literally what I just fucking said. I know. <laughs> uh, please say it. I, I tried to wrench my gaze away from Kyoko's assets. Shut up! Wow, dude, you fucking wiener boy. Stop staring, you're making this even more awkward than everybody is! You <laughs> use this potato of a person! <laughs> and force my eyes to meet hers. As soon as I do, I wish I hadn't. For some reason, looking at Kyoko's face makes me feel even guiltier than gopping at her body did. Wait. What? Yeah. Oh, yeah. guiltier than gopping at her body did. Kyoko's expression... Kyoko's expression's pretty mild, given the circumstances, but that only makes things worse! 
She should be shouting at me and calling me names. That's what I deserve. <laughs> bro, I feel you. That's why I like an old woman too. She right? should be strapping me to a bed and dropping <laughs> candle wax on my naked body. Fuck yeah. Yeah. Miski gets it. Is she a saint? Is she an angel? Is she an angle or a devil? <laughs> How is this woman so pure? And why am I taking advantage of her boundless kindness? What in the world am I doing? I noticed you're still just standing here, so... K Kyoko, I'm so, so sorry. It's getting kind of late, so, so I should probably see myself out. Uh, have a nice evening! And if you want, you can eat some of the leftover food I made, I made earlier. It's to pay you back for the Kinpita. Uh, oh, Mitsuki. It's here, you gonna get the fuck out or what? <laughs> yeah. And Kyoko tilts her head to one side. Her long hair, tr her, her long hair trails in the water like split, like spilt ink. Oh my god. That's dude. actually, I actually like that description. Oh, okay. I thought you wanted me to tutor you. It's fine. I'm kind of tired now. Y you can tutor me some other, other time? I don't think I could stand to sit at the table with Kyoko after this! It's just not possible! I'm not strong enough! Well then, I'll be going now! Enjoy your bath! Oh, Mitsuki, wait! Wait, though. <laughs> but nothing Kyoko has to say could convince me to stop. Standing around in here is pretty bad for my heart. If I wait any longer, it'll burst out of my chest in a shower of gore. And who's gonna clean that up? Kyoko? <laughs> I wouldn't want to. I wouldn't. I don't. God damn it. I wouldn't want to inflict such a grotesque scene upon her delicate, maidenly eyes. It wouldn't be very, very gentlemanly. Not that I'm a gentleman. But who goes into a woman's bathroom while she's cleaning herself up in the tub and, like, explodes everywhere? <laughs> That's just messed up. Blood's a huge pain to clean, even from bathroom tiles. Bro, what? shut the up, fuck? dude. So I go. <laughs> I, am I have to go. I've already seen far, far more than a mere mortal like me has any right to. I slam the bathroom door behind me and make a beeline for the exit. But in my haste, there's something I forgot about. Tama. Uh, hey Mitsuki, uh, <laughs> where are you going in such a hurry, huh? Back home. Uh, but I thought we were gonna play a board game together. There was a change of pants. I mean, plants. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Ed wins! <laughs> <laughs> Everyone say Ed wins in the chat. F in the chat. For me Wait, losing F. the joke contest. <laughs> Fuck. But why? <laughs> Thomas' little face falls. She scrambles to pick it up with her thousands of arms. Yeah. Couldn't you find life? Did Mama know where it was? Did she suck it out of you? <laughs> I hate, I hate that I just did that, so I'm sorry, everyone. <laughs> did you, ugh, did you even ask Mama where it was? Uh, 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 well, about that. She's, she's seen through me. Curses! I have to leave. Something came up. That's all. Oh, something came up. Yeah, there. something, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Something? That's right. What do you mean something? What oh the fuck do you mean? God. What do you mean? Oh, you're not sick, are you? Not exactly. Sick in the head, maybe. But your face is all red. Maybe you have a fever. Maybe you should get in the bath. Yeah, get in the bath. <sighs> yeah. It'll be okay. I'll live. But. Don't worry about me, Tama. I'm fine. I give the inquisitive young girl a small pat on the head. I'll tell you all about it when you're older. Don't do that. He's gonna be like an old man on his deathbed. So anyway, I walked in on your mom and I saw everything. 
I got a huge boner the size of the Empire State <laughs> Building. And I came out. I was like, I have to leave. <laughs> yeah. That's what you were asking me about when you were like six or whatever. <laughs> more like, never. Wow. I don't know if I'll ever recover from this. Hey, is Miski still out there? Because I thought he said he was going to leave. <laughs> I'm ready. I don't know if I'll forget that in a hurry. That was so <laughs> cool. yeah. He actually I did drew? go home? Oh, yeah. Oh, little shit. And yet, despite the not-so-nasty shock I received that day, life continues. I try to put the image of Kyoko in the bathtub out of my mind, and imagine Kyoko does the same. We see one another again the next weekend, and neither of us mentions the embarrassing incident that occurred in the steamy bathroom. I can't help but note, however, that Kyoko's cheeks are a little pinker than usual when we exchange greetings. At least they ain't pale Because pink, she's my blushing, God. motherfucker! I don't understand this human emotion. Yeah. What is blushing? The fucking, the, the Reddit guy doesn't say anything about that. <laughs> I don't think, it doesn't indicate that women will actually respond positively to anything in this book. Yeah, what the hell? <sighs> Kyoko then leaves, and I spend another day babysitting Tama. We watch TV together, go to the playground, and at lunchtime, Tama sits the Tama sets the table and helps me in the kitchen. Kyoko comes back from work around five in the evening. Her return announced by the click of the door and the soft "I'm home." I'm sorry, I'm home. There we go. It's better. Mama. Tama springs to her feet the moment Kyoko enters the room. Fuck yes. She tackles her mother, who's looking a bit worn out after her shift, and nuzzles her head into her soft stomach. Dude. Yeah. Mama, mama, welcome back! I missed you. That sounded like a fucking attack. <laughs> it did. Tommy used body slam. Yeah. And I missed you too, you little gremlin. Kyoko ruffles Tama's hair. Which is always... Which is all... What? Which is always fly away regardless, regardless of how often she smooths it down. How was your day? Did you have fun with uh, fun time with Mitsuki? Yup, he made me ro rolled egg omelets. God, that sounds good right now. He did, did he? I wish he'd roll into my egg omelet. <laughs> what? This fucking asshole. I gave you an opportunity. <laughs> <laughs> and you squandered it. You squandered it. <laughs> Uh. Yeah, and he made fried chicken and brown rice, and cause he got some little wieners and cut them into octopuses, they're really cute. Fuck! Octopus wieners, hmm. My mother taught me how to make those when I was in high school. I've never been very handy in the kitchen, but they were easy enough even for me. I'm not impressed. I used to put them in my lunchbox and take them to class, what you do, and my friends would help themselves. They thought they were really cute. Did you make your own lunches in high school, Mitsuki? She locks the door. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I didn't. Uh, I didn't really cook back in high school. That was before my mom's accident, you see. Uh, oh, yeah, uh, yes, I, I should have known. Um, the mood's ruined, so she unlocks the door. I'm- yeah. I'm sorry? <laughs> you, you don't need to apologize. I wasn't trying to make you feel guilty or anything. It's just... well... Hmm. <laughs> even if I had cooked back then, I never would have told you- told anybody about it. Oh? Then why not? Because I'm a guy. Guys are- shut the fuck- shut up! Hey, shut up! Get your, get your fucking head out of the fucking 1930s. Yeah, stupid. dumbass. You fucking stupid idiot. Idiot piece of shit. Guys are really supposed to cook, idiot. That's how you sound like. <laughs> Especially not little octopus wieners. I'd been laughed at, idiot dumbass. I'd make little fucking octopus hot dogs. I don't give a shit. Yeah. I got laughed at the more... I got laughed at more than enough on account of my rotten name. I didn't want to give my so-called classmates any extra ammunition. Teenagers can be so cruel! And I was 23! 
Yeah. I was 23 even back in high school. <laughs> He's been 23 his whole life. Yeah. I've, I have I'm always been team. short for my age. Oh my god, he's a manlet? Yeah, he's a manlet. Why can't they pick up? That suddenly explains so many things about him. No. Oh man. Hey, I want to just clarify too, short kings out there, like, live your life. Just don't yeah. be a manlet. <laughs> yeah, a short king is one thing. A manlet is a state of mind. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. I say this as both Connor and I are over six feet. I know, which <laughs> not the authority figures on this. So that excludes us. Yeah. Anyway, uh, why couldn't they pick on somebody their own size? Wow, dude. Paradoxically, my short stature only made, made me into an even bigger target. I just couldn't catch a break. Hmm. I don't know about that. You look a very antiquated way of considering gender roles. Besides, a lot of famous chefs are men, aren't they? People don't make fun of them, they make money. That's because they're famous, and I'm not! <laughs> well, some boys in my school made their own lunches and they never got teased. Well, that's because they were over six feet tall. Mm, you're right. Maybe it's different in the city. People might be more accepting. All I know is, cooking was always considered something sissies did. Kind of like sewing. That's why I never wanted to learn. These are not things on my turn on list. I, what I, you're saying right now. If you did those things, it'd be a different story. <laughs> I purposely shot myself in the foot and refused to learn these important life lessons because I didn't want to, you know, be considered girly because I'm a man from the, the fucking sticks. Yeah, have fun buying a new pair of pants every couple of weeks, you stupid idiot. Yeah, dumbass. Anyway, I never would have bothered if my mother hadn't had her accident. I sigh. A lot of things would have been different. I would have been... It would have been easier for when everyone... What? It would have been easier for everyone involved, but... At least I learned a few life skills. I shake my head. I SMH. I don't really want to think about my mother right now. I put my life on hold for five years to help her. And though I don't regret it, I'd rather not dwell on the past. Yeah, well, I don't regret it. I really fucking regret yeah. it. I regret it a lot. <laughs> exactly. Um, physically, I've left out Modi. And yet... Maybe mentally, my mind is still shackled to my old life. Speaking of which... Back in my school, almost all the guys bought their food from the cafeteria, or the convenience store. Some really lucky guys ate lunches made by their girlfriends. They were envied by everyone, especially me. I can tell. Having a girlfriend to make your lunch was something of a status symbol. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was the same at my school, too. The boys in my class always bragged about when their girlfriends cooked for them, and I was like, well, I let my boyfriend fuck me, so... <laughs> Who so who really came out on top? Well, the boyfriend yeah. did, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. I love this game. <laughs> I'm full of them. Uh. Hey, Mitsuki. Kyoko looks at me mischievously. Her eyes sparkle. Oh? I could let you fuck me too. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I can't. I can't. Unless... No, uh, no, I can see by your face. Okay. But maybe... <laughs> But me, hey, <laughs> unless. <laughs> uh, no, I joke. Did any girls ever make you lunch when you were a teenager? No. Yeah, every day. What? what? Bullshit. <laughs> Bullshit. Mm hmm. If you count my mom as a girl, that is. Hey, yeah. ah. Nice one. And now my grandma ma ain't the only girl calling me baby. baby. <laughs> If you feel me now, put your hands up in the sky. In the sky let me hear you say, say I'm, hey. I'm, I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, it's a good song. Yeah, it is a good song. I laugh, s my, sing my age, and Kyoko pouts. Mm. Jeez, you pranked me. Yeah, I'm the Joker, baby. Hey, I like that. Why well, don't I don't really like that too? <laughs> I pretend I will. <laughs> I know you like Reddit, so I figured the two are, are accomplished. 
Oh, uh, but it was such an obvious trick. Do you really think a guy like me would be popular with the girls? Come on. Mitsuki, me? can you can you feel the heat radiating off of my loins? <laughs> I don't see why not. Oh my fucking god. It's like <laughs> It's like a space heater. Yeah, it's we don't well, okay, that's a gross joke I'm not even gonna make in character, it's so gross. <laughs> So never mind. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Uh, oh. Did you already say that? Yeah, take a shot. Fuck, no! <laughs> ha! Now you're the one poking foot at me, Kyoko. Guess I deserve it for being a smartass. This dude just, like, fucking, like, takes a, a, a target and puts it on his own forehead. Yeah. Like a fucking idiot. <laughs> I laugh, and Kyoko soon joins in. Out of pity, of course. Yeah. Huh? What is it? What are you laughing about? Oh, it's nothing. Just shut up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but I want to know! Did Mitsuki say something stupid? Just something funny. I don't believe it. Boys always say stupid things. That's why they get in trouble. True, she's spitting. Yeah. Okay, see? You you won some points with me right now. <laughs> Miss Damn Hana, it! <laughs> Miss Hanazawa had to scold Keiichi in class last week because he told me how people in England eat erasers. They do! They do? Have you seen fucking what they have for fucking for breakfast? No! Fucking beans on toast with a side of erasers? Shit, I've been misjudging Keiichi. That's true, look it up. Well, Miho believes everything Keiichi says, so she took a bite out of her eraser, and then she started crying. <laughs> she kept eating it, though. <laughs> Stupid bitch. <laughs> that Keiichi sounds like a pretty smart guy. <laughs> <laughs> he He's not. He's a really bad boy. Not like me. I'm cool. That's right. Well, oh, yeah, I'll let you have it. You are cool. You're the nicest, sweetest, most adorable daughter in the world. Unless you open your mouth or do anything. <laughs> and I don't eat erasers either. Not oh, since that, was... that one time. Since that one time. It's like. <laughs> She's Miho. It's like she has one of those signs that it's like day since last accident, but it's like day <laughs> since last eraser ate. <laughs> it's just 12. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my god. I should hope not. I like to think my food tastes better than uh, whatever it is a racist or made out of. Probably the, horses. Are they made from rubber? <laughs> I'm not sure. I never thought to check. It's okay, Mitsuki. Don't worry. Your food? Oh, really good. <laughs> Maybe you should have learned how to cook when you were younger, Mitsuki. There might have been a bit of a stigma against it, but I'm sure your female classmates would have been very impressed with your skills. Okay, real, real fucking talk. If if we have any any guys out there, learn how to fucking cook. Learn how to cook. Learn how to fucking cook. Fucking do it. It's not that hard. I promise you, it's not that fucking hard. Yeah. Do you really think so? I know so. Women tend to like men who can help around the house. What did I just say? What? What did I just say? Yeah, no, yeah, oh, that's yeah, to yeah. the you points it, man watching. Yeah, you, if you help around the house, I'll like you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. There's a long list. Anyway, uh, and plus nobody can turn down an octopus wiener. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad we have context for this. Me too. Yeah, isn't that right, uh, Tomo? <laughs> Yup, yup, yup. Ugh. You see? People say the way through a man's heart is through his stomach. But the same can be applied to women too. And yeah, if you yeah. want to get really technical, the rib cage is protecting the heart. Yeah, so there you go. Yeah, you go through there. It's easy. We're not all that different, really. <laughs> Or, oh, wait, wait. <laughs> I wish I heard that piece of evidence when I was younger. Maybe I could use it to my advantage. Holy shit! Uh, oh, okay. that fit too well. 
You try to steal the hearts of all your female classes with your cooking, hmm? Degenerate? <laughs> I could have given it a shot. It's way too late to redo things now, because I'm 23, but... Right, right. He's shut up. I glanced down at Tama. Don't you fucking dare. Okay. <laughs> oh. Yeah, we I, weren't gonna have a fucking a Twilight baby moment over here. I Hell know, no. it's like, that's Absolutely what I was going, not. I'm like, you, I will turn this game off. <laughs> at least my cooking's managed to net me one new ally. And maybe, I find myself thinking wistfully, within time. The one who spawned her. <laughs> <laughs> I might be able to reach Kyoko's heart, too. Alright, but oh! Oh. oh. <laughs> okay, cool. After Kyoko's a quick bath, it proceeds smoothly this time, uninterrupted by an overeager Tama. She sits with me at the table in the center of the room. Kyoko toweled herself dry after the bath, but her skin is flushed pink and her long black hair is slightly damp. A few droplets of moisture cling to her skin, oh making it glisten. If I were a poet, Stop. I mean, you're already you're trying really hard to be one, buddy. Yeah, Maybe you waxing, I'd, dickhead. Maybe I'd liken her to a flower shining with early morning dew. She gets more fucked. like more like mountain dew. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But I'm not, so I guess I'll just settle for a vastly more simplified. <laughs> she looks hot. <laughs> Awooga! Awooga! Arf! 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 <laughs> <laughs> Two cups of green tea sit on the table before us, <clears throat> exuding thin, thin trails of steam in the air. The smell of green tea powder mingles with the faint, subtle aroma of Kyoko's perfume. It's a warm, relaxing sort of smell that's making me feel a touch drowsy. Yeah, I love Axe body spray. <laughs> anyway, just so you know, Mitsuki, in here, when I tutor you, I'm God. Oh. Also, as you know, since I didn't have a chance to do you last week, I I've been feeling a little guilty about it. Oh, no. You don't need to worry. I had some, uh... urgent business to take care of. How long did it take you? The business. Five minutes? Uh, Three? Four, four and a half. There we go. Yeah, well... Kyoko coughs delicately. <coughs> like I said that. I'd help with this... <sighs> Fuck! Is the air too clean in here? It seems too clean in here. <laughs> Someone Fuck. smoke a cigar right now. Someone, did, yeah, he, she gets a cigar. <laughs> <sighs> you gotta pace yourself with these in there, vomit. <laughs> anyway, did you want? Uh, I don't. I don't no. Smoke. Okay, good, that's fine. You. That's whatever. Anyway, I said I'd help you with your studies, and I don't go back on my word. Not since that one time. A bargain is a bargain, after all. <laughs> now you sound like a witch in a fairy tale. Yeah, be careful. I might uh, put a spell on you and keep you trapped in here Ooh. forever. <laughs> oh. Uh, not a wicked witch, I hope. <laughs> oh. Well, I wonder. As a single mother, I can assure you that I don't need any more children, which I thought I was going to lead into a different direction, but what I'm saying is your firstborn is safe from me. Oh. Yeah, I thought I was... Yeah. Nah. Okay. Yeah. I'm sure you're a better parent than I could ever be, Kyoko. You're way more mature. No, but you're a better cook. I had more of an opportunity to learn. I had opportunities, too. Uh, my mother taught me bits and pieces, but I never really paid attention. It's too busy with Yu-Gi-Oh. There were always yeah! other noise, right? Fuck yeah. Like Yu-Gi-Oh, the more interesting things to do. Kyoko plays Altergeist. Yeah. No, no, wasn't it? Doesn't she play a counter counter deck? Isn't that what I made a joke on? Oh shit, I don't remember. Hey, somebody. Who... Oh no, it was Pot of so... Greed. It was the Pot of Greed. Yeah, oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow, look at me with the fucking continuity there. Damn. Good shit. Yeah. I'm proud of you. Thank All right, you. cool. Um, so you can make so you can make cute octopus wieners. Wait. But you can make cute Octopus wieners, okay, whatever. Oh, yes. And my octopus wieners are unparalleled. Why are we still talking about fucking octopus wieners? Hmm, um, maybe we should have contests then. This dude's got fucking game. I, like, actually has game when he's not 
being a complete piece of shit. Seriously! Like, what the- This is the first time I've watched- Not first time. This is one of the few times I've watched characters flirting in a thing, and I'm like, Oh, I get it. Oh, I get it. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd fall for his tricks. Um, yeah, that might be fun. We can ask Tama to be the judge. I wrote the, the name ju- on my hand. She can be the judge, jury, and executioner. Yes. Because the loser of that contest of- will die. Yeah, well, she just go, we'll go get a gun. Um, oh, fuck! Oh my god. She, we all know she's unbiased. Uh, she has no sense of loyalty towards her poor mother. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit! Huh? What did you say about me? You're a disloyal you little wanna, piece of shit. You wanna say that again? No, nothing. I was, I was just telling Mitsuki how much I fucking love you. Put the gun down, sweetheart. Yeah, put the- I know that's got full bullets in it. You can double tap both of us. Put it down. <laughs> oh, well, of course you do. I am the bestest daughter in the whole wide web. <laughs> the whole wide web? <laughs> sure, whatever the gun says. <laughs> <laughs> that's the line. Cool. God, that's so good. Kyoko blows the kiss in Thomas' direction and Thomas <sighs> giggles contented. I fucking hate us so much. <laughs> so, back to business. Which subject do you need the most help with, Mitsuki? Sexual Anatomy? education. Bi- hey, alright. <laughs> Tama, get to the corner. <laughs> I don't even care if you can't find your fucking headphones. I'm just ready. <laughs> Holy shit. Um... That would probably be English. It's so different from Japanese. I don't even know where to, where to begin. Memorizing everything is a huge headache. <laughs> oh, that's a new face. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, me too. And Kyoko grins wickedly. Her and scissors. Incisors? Incisors. Oh, that Wait. Incisors? Uh, I think it's incisors. Incisors? No, okay. no. Incisors? Fuck it. Inc- Fuck it. Hey, somebody in the comments, tell us, is it incisors or incisors? Yeah, hey, hey, uh, dentist demographic of our audience, what yeah. is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, her smile has never looked more fearsome. In fact, it kind of reminds me of the creepy monster faces piped onto the monster donut donuts during Halloween. Wait, oh, Mr. Uh, donut donuts. Oh, oh. Okay. Crap. I can feel chills going up my spine. Yeah, he likes it. I'm starting to get a bad feeling about this. Kyoko, why are you laughing like that? Oh, nothing. Puts a fucking Glock down on the table. (laughs) I was just thinking. Kyoko's eyes sparkle. English was uh, one of my better subjects back in high school. It was? Mm-hmm. I've always been interested in languages. I even used to dream about being an English teacher myself before I popped that little bastard child out. Oh. And Kyoko casts a quick glance at her daughter. Who's still, still in- I literally went exactly more or less saying the same sauce. thing you said. Yeah. God damn. This fucking dude. Who's still ensconced with a quiz show on TV. Well, putting that to one side. I used to help my friends with their English skills before we had tests. We'd get together after school and study in the library, smoke cigars, normal stuff. Oh! Sometimes they'd come back to my house, where all the fun stuff was. My mom made us snacks, brought us little cups of bourbon, we'd stay up in our pajamas, going over compound nouns and conjugations, talking about- Okay, that's- that's fucking made up. Nobody fucking does that shit for fun. Fuck you. Oh. Get out of my house. (laughs) I'm joking. All I'm joking. night? I suppress a shudder. That sounds like hell. I hope she's not expecting me to study English with her for hours on end. I do want to study something else with her for hours on end. <laughs> I like being with Kyoko, but I don't like her quite that much. You're a fucking liar. Yeah, you fucking piece of shit. I'm not a masochist, at least not yet, you know? Yeah, yeah, give it time, buddy. Oh, no, don't have that attitude. Studying is never hell, Mitsuki. I'm hell. Oh. You look into my eyes and you see how you're gonna die. (laughs) Holy shit. Unless you do my fucking studying. Well. 
Kyoko reconsiders. It might be hard work at first, particularly if you're not used to it. But I think it could be rather fun. I do like a strip studying sort of game. Oh, okay. Every cool. time you get something right, I take off some clothes. Every time you get something wrong, I take off some clothes. <laughs> it's a great game. Everybody loves it. Everybody loves it. <laughs> Uh, I love learning about the world, and I, I particularly love learning new ways to communicate with other people. Like Bitmoji? What the oh my fuck? God. How fucking hilarious is that shit? Oh my god. I gave mine a little, uh, I gave mine a little mohawk. Anyway, how else can we make ourselves understood if not through words or images? I'm very grateful I was able to study English in school. I just wish I'd been able to continue my education. It's this fucking thing again. I still don't know everything that I'd like to. Like I disarm a bomb. But I should know more than enough to help you disarm a bomb. Now, let's get to work. We don't have a moment to spare. You sure are fired up about this. Of course I am. Teaching was one of my passions. I'm glad to have a willing pupil I can sink my claws into. Oh shit. And you still bite, any marks. If you ask. Oh, I will. <laughs> cool. Yeah. D -d -d Did she just eat claws? Whatever happened to good old fashioned hands? No, you she, she isn't going to hurt me too much, is she? <laughs> <laughs> hey, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. I got ibuprofen. I know. I gotta, don't worry, we can put some vodka on your open wounds, it'll be just fine. <laughs> I'm going to take my time to mold you into a fine young polyglot. I see, I don't know what that Polyglot. Fucking, polyglot. Are you, yeah, wait, I, so I you, actually do you know, know that polyglot. Word. Yeah, for once, I do know one my of the fancy man. words. Yeah. Fuck yes. Yeah. It means somebody who speaks multiple languages. Yeah. Yeah. I've never fucking... Okay. Fuck yeah. yeah. Anyway. 